Hey everyone, welcome to my very first and probably last Minecraft video. So today I'm showing you guys, uh, Mr. Owen and class, uh, my project, or in this case, my theme park. So yeah, so starting off, uh, first off, my country, or not country, sorry, wrong class, um, my amusement or theme park name, which is Torna. The Golden Country. Um, this is, of course, based off of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 uh, and the Torna of the Golden Country um, video game. So, and there's a little hint as to why it's called the Golden Country, which I added into this uh, little meaning of the name and of the theme park. So, right as you walk in, there's redstone torches. You go up, walk in, close the gate. Well, not that gate. Ah, uh, nope. My bad. There we go. So, walk in. So the first thing I want to show you guys as you walk in down this really nice path um, is my Ferris wheel. So this is one of the, one of the things that I did uh, for this project, for one of the attractions. And this is called the Gold Mouth Wheelhouse. Now, obviously in Xenoblade there's no, like, Ferris wheel, so I didn't call it a Ferris wheel, but I called it a wheelhouse. Because it's a wheel and it's carrying houses. Um, so, anyways, I chose the the color theme of primary colors. So everything you're going to see is going to be red, blue, and yellow. So the Ferris wheel has one wheel that's bright redstone red, and then sapphire blue. Um, it has, of course, um, dark red uh, blocks as well on the little sides, and of course, it's got a few Ferris wheels. I'm going to use some poles. Um, to make it light up during the nighttime, maybe I'll get to show you that if it gets nighttime or not. Um, so yeah, and to just show you from a distance, I guess this is what it looks like. It took me a long time to build this, mostly because I was trying to do the the circle, and I didn't really, um, I didn't know that I needed to do how many blocks I needed to do, because it was really frustrating. Because I hadn't played Minecraft in like four years. So this was, took a lot of work. Um, so yeah, anyways. Of course I put some torches too, just to give it some light. That way no monsters can spawn in. Um, so next up, I guess, will be the roller coaster. So for the roller coaster, um, what I did was I did some gold blocks. This is, of course, where the theme Golden Country comes in. So I built some gold blocks, and then... Uh, it has a nice big uh, going up and down feature, um, and this roller coaster is called. If I can find my sign where I had it, uh, I don't know where my sign is. Ah, hold on. Maybe I can find my sign. If not, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it could be if I don't find it. Um, dang it, where's the sign? There it is, okay. So, my, this is place is called, uh, if I can see it, Varnax Roller Coaster Plunge. Now, if you want to know why it's called the plunge, it's because you're plunging down uh, a lot in the roller coasters. As you can see uh, from the tracks here, you actually plunge down into a water, like a little lake area. Um, so you're definitely going to get wet from this roller coaster, and you're also plunging down super fast on this roller coaster. Um, hence the name Plunge. You're plunging yourself uh, forward really fast. Um, so anyways, so for this color scheme, I just mostly use some gray uh, for the shading part. This will be turned into a, um, this was turned into a, uh, like, a drawing. And then I used a whoa, 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 well, not what I wanted to do. There we go. So we're going up the roller coaster, or we're going, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. So we're going up, 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 up. And then we're going down, Whee! whoa, oh, super fast. As you can see, we're plunging forward super fast. It's going to give some people a headache. And water time, woo! Water just got wet there. Super fun roller coaster. 
for all the family and friends. Zoom. All right. Nope. Nope. Going down. Nope. Ugh. Back out. There we go. So yeah. So that was the roller coaster. Obviously, very fun. Very cool. Next up, I would like to show you guys is if we can go around. You know, it's actually. Let's not cheat and fly. Let's do it the way the person's supposed to. Oh, and it's getting nighttime, which means a fancy dinner night with a nice good view. So this little uh, diner uh, or place you get to eat at is called, if you can read it, and if you don't know what that says, it says Lasui Greens. Um, this is based off of a market in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 where you can eat and buy some really good food. Uh, there's lanterns, sea green, uh, not sea green, sorry, uh, sea blue lanterns lit uh, to make it a very uh, calming and relaxing evening. There are four tables, and then for each four tables, there is a chest. There's sometimes a big chest or there's a small chest, and in each chest, there's some food. So you can go ahead and choose from some beetroot soup, pumpkin pie, baked potatoes, and bread. Um, all bunch of cool stuff. There's even some uh, rabbit stew, steak, uh, cake, lots of bread, pork chops, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, this one is, of course, only soup and bread. Um, and this one is a bunch of fish and chicken, about some sweets, too. So, yeah. Of course, we got some mutton, too. For those of you who watch Seinfeld, I cannot stop thinking of that joke in my head. Um, so this little, if you understood the joke from Seinfeld, I give you bonus points for that. Um, anyways, so we're going to exit out now. And now we're going to move on to the next attraction. Uh, so, well, it's getting kind of late. We need to stay in a nice little inn that will keep us comfy and cozy. And away from all the monsters. So why not stay at the Lumu Inn. This is, of course, based off of another attraction in Xenoblade. So the Lumu Inn has three different bedrooms or three different apartments. So this one is a one bedroom, so it's very small. Then this one is a two bedroom, so it has some tables and has two beds. And of course, I still stuck to, uh, stayed true to the color theme, which only using red, blue, and yellow beds. Uh, and then get, and then using a shading of uh, then use a shading and just some wood for the outside. And then of course, um, this person is staying in the bedroom. I don't know. He's thinking like, why are you in here? Uh, well, I'm showing off right now. So anyways, uh, blue, yellow beds. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stay in this one bed right here. Just sleep. I'm gonna sleep for a little bit. Uh, okay, it is morning. Let's go. So now we're moving on to the next attraction of the day. And the next attraction we're going to look at today, um, or the next day, is going to be the castle. Now this castle took me a good long while. Um, took me about like a week or so. So this took me half of the project. Everything else was pretty simple and easy. Um, so yeah, this definitely took me the most time uh, to do. And oh no, there's a zombie. Yikes. I can kill him. There we go. Yeah, see, good thing there's a fence here, right, guys? Because then it protects us from the zombies. Woohoo, smart. Alright, anyways. So, this is called, this place is called the Holy Castle of Uriah. So, this is, of course, a giant castle. Um, this castle is mainly for an attraction for people to visit and view. Um... As you can see, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. You got some music and potions. Um, got some armor and some weapons and stuff. Now, if you're wondering why, why does a castle have weapons? Well, for one, it's a castle. And two, there are, ooh, diamonds. Uh, there's some late night events where a unique monster, an enderman, will spawn. And if you happen to kill that enderman, you get to be placed on the board. This castle is kind of like, um, like a unique monster place where if you score and kill a unique monster you get rewards for it 
Uh, some of the rewards might include some meat, some good weapons, and diamonds, and gold weapons, and yada yada yada. Uh, of course, there's also a furnace in here. This is a one-bedroom uh, stay in, so people can sleep here for the night. Um, so, yeah, and of course, you can see there's also paintings, there's books, there's a few cobwebs, meaning it's a very old place. You can actually climb the ladder to get some books if you need to, to get to the high ones, get some high places. Um, so if the book's a little bit too high for you, you can just climb the ladder and grab the book. So, yeah. Um, of course, there's are redstone torches and regular torches. Another furnace for cooking food. You know, there's some food in here. There's some golden apples. Um, a change of golden apple. Excuse me. Uh, some bread, rabbit stew, and cake. Got some puffer fishes. All that good stuff. Um, and then, we, of course, we have a blue carpet. Keeping still to the color theme. Um, just using some shading of gray. We've got some blue lanterns. Uh, we have our very own crafting table. So you can craft whatever you want at the castle. And use it to fight off some mobs or enemies that spawn here. So yeah, very nice. So of course I also used some dark, dark red. It's kind of hard to tell with the video. But I think you're able to see it there. There's some red in there. Um, some nether. I used some nether uh, fences. And of course, I used red banners and blue banners for the castle. So, yeah, this took me a good long while. So, I really hope you guys appreciate and like the castle. Um, so, of course, I used some uh, glass windows. I used some windows here, um, which looks pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, in the very, very center is a beacon. There's beacons in every single uh, tower. Now, if we take a close look at this tower right here, you'll see that each and every one has this little trap door. Now, what would happen if we open it? There we go. Oh no, we're trapped. We've been bad. We're being trapped here for eternity. Oh man, if only I could fly. Oh wait, I can. So yeah, so a little nice little trap there, just to have some fun. People who've been bad, or this is like the prison pretty much for the castle. They just trap them there. They stay there forever. Anyways, so now that we've gotten that done, fly down here. Alright, so now, if we go down here, now, technically speaking, this should be it. I mean, we did all four of the attractions that I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, there's a little moat here, by the way. Some water, very cool. And of course, I also did the drawbridge, too. Make it look like a drawbridge. I used some iron bars to add that little detail effect in there. Um, so really nice details here. I really like it. Um, anyways, so t as I was saying, technically this should be it. I mean, we're done. We have four attractions. We have a castle. We have a Ferris wheel. We have a roller coaster. And we have a food vendor or a diner. Um, this should be it, right guys? Well, you're wrong. There's one more thing. I had one extra little detail to make this really feel like a theme park. Um, for So for those of you who don't know, um, which you probably should already do, at Disneyland, they have their own, and their, or Universal Studios, they have their own, um, like, make your own lightsaber, right? Or make your own robot. Or like a make your own, um, or get your own wand from Harry Potter, right? So for this one, uh, for my specific uh, uh, theme park, I have the Torgoth Silversmith. So what you can do here is you come to the Silversmith. It's very hidden. If you go inside, you'll see that there's an iron bar, there's a cauldron, and there's a crafting table. So this is meant to say that you can make your very own potion, armor, or any weapon that you want. So if you have all the materials, if you wanted to, you could grab all those diamonds back in the castle Come take them over to the silversmith and make your very own diamond sword or diamond weapon. Um, so you can basically just steal anything from the treasure chest that you find around here in the in the theme park and use it to make your very own uh, weapons and stuff. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool indeed. Uh, I, I make it sound cool, but it's actually kind of dumb. <laughs> um, anyways, so that is it, guys. That is my theme park. Only took about 15 minutes. Um, so, yeah, so I sticked into the color theme. I used primary colors, which was red, 
blue, um, and yellow. And I ch uh, chose four different uh, attractions, which was uh, which was of course the Ferris wheel, a roller coaster, and a castle and a and a food vendor. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to do three. If I was supposed to do three, well, I went above and beyond, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, this is of course the uh, theme park for the Torna, uh, for the golden country of Torna. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope Mr. Owen enjoys this. It took a lot of work. Hopefully uh, you guys like it. So yeah, thanks for watching.